In less than 5 minutes I'm going to show you how you can add a Node.js backend to your index HTML page and go from this to this where you have your server uh, which is index.js uh, where you're serving your index HTML file. And the first step to adding a Node.js backend to this index HTML is making this an npm project, project in the first place. So you do this just by saying npm and by the way you, ha you have to have node installed. So just do npm init-y, press enter and this will create a package.json which basically just says uh, all the information, meta information about your project, which dependencies you have installed, currently we don't have any but uh, that's what we're going to do in the next step we're going to install express and the next step is creating our serv server which is express for us to be able to do this we're going to need to install express with npm install and then just saying express and after we've installed express you're going to see that the command finished running and also we had node modules and also this package dash log json and also in, in our package.json, we have under dependencies, we actually, these dependencies just showed up and we have express here. And also when we created the npm project, I forgot to mention, we have this index.html as our main file, JavaScript file, where we need to uh, implement a server. And we're going to implement that express server right now but ju by just doing new file then saying index oops index.js and by the way i have uh, my express server template just in my snippets so if i do es it should show up if it works actually let's just see so if you don't know how to create your snippets, I'm going to do a whoops a video right here, a card where you can learn how to do those snippets. And now since we have a server, we're not going to run our app like we did before with the live server extension by right clicking on the on the index HTML and clicking open with live server. But we're going to do this by uh, run our app by doing node and then uh, running our index.js file which is the main file which is the server and when I, when I press on enter it's going to print this text out that I've specified and this server is running on port 3000 which I specified here and actually here so if I now go inside here whoops and I do uh, localhost 3000 I'm going to see a hello world I'm going to zoom out for you and that's because I'm not serving for now my index.html file but I'm just sending as a response my a simple hello world text and now the second step is to actually serve our index.html from our server instead of sending just this text uh, as a and as an example, so instead of send, you need to do send file because we are sending this file index.html. And just to remind you, I just have this is my index.html page uh, text in my in my file, just so you know what we're going to get. And in after send file, you need to do something like this. You, I think, you can do just uh, into parentheses slash index.html but what is better when this is hosted we want to access a property whoops called directory name uh, and it's actually it's before directory name you need to add two underscores and then you need to say plus this directory name basically just is the root of our project just uh, use this as a best practice when your project is uh, hosted anywhere else and not locally like now and if I save this run my index HTML, I mean index.js again 
if I go into my site, click on refresh, I'm going to uh, get this is my index HTML page. Mm -hmm.